Hi everyone, my name is Olivia and I'm a lifelong ballerina and classical musician. Today I'm going to take you on a little bit of a vlog through the journey of Dancing in the Nutcracker. Um, right now as it is, I actually just finished the last show and I thought I'd film a little intro because I think I forgot to do so at the beginning. So anyway, I hope that you enjoy this journey with me and let's go ahead and get into the vlog. Hello and welcome to this Nutcracker vlog. So I already went ahead and auditioned for this company's Nutcracker, but I have a bit of a situation on my hand. I've been using the same model of point shoes for about 15 years, but unfortunately it was discontinued. So I'm currently on a journey to find a new model of point shoes. I did a bunch of research online and I found this really great um, point shoe fitter at a place called On Point Dancer and Boutique. I'll definitely link them down below. And I do want to give a quick shout out to them for allowing me to film. The experience was really great and I'm really lucky that I got to fit with them. So here's a quick look at that. Yeah, that feels better. Okay, all right, up we go. Just take one foot up on point. Okay, good, and down, and the other foot up. Okay, when you're ready, go all the way. Oh, they're magic, magic <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Yeah, I really like these so far. Mm -hmm. I do too. They look really good on your feet. Okay, so I really like So let's put those over there. So okay. those are, are um, a contender. All right, second position. So this shoe right here is the block Euro stretch, and the one that I tried on previously was Nikolai Dream Point. Um, I went ahead and tried to compare them because I was torn between the two shoes. But again, I'm really thankful to the point shoe fitters' patience with me because we tried on a lot of shoes. I mean. <laughs> a lot um perhaps you can guess which one i went with in the end again i was torn between the nikolai and the block um go ahead and guess in the comments below yay oh my gosh i can't believe it. i found not one shoe but two shoes that i really really like so um a big thank you to on point dancewear um i'm so glad that i was able to find shoes that i like and you know like the point shoe hooter said it's good to have at least two sh uh, different types of shoes that you like just in case of you know your go-to is on back order or is out of stock or something like that so um that was definitely way more successful of a trip than i thought it would be which is a great outcome it's currently the last day of November and I just got home from practice and there are a few corrections that I wanted to work on so I'm actually going to uh, lace up my point shoes once again and start practicing. Um, they also told me earlier this week that they are going to add me to the party scene. Um, it sounds like some of the girls at the end of the party scene they have to um, actually do a quick change to be in one of the um, other performances for Act 2. Uh, so the um, ballet director asked some of the girls, which included me, um, if we were able to join the party scene. And um, the last time I was in party scene, I was in uh, like high school. So I'm really excited to be in it again. I truly thought that I was never going to have the opportunity to do that. So that's just really exciting to me um, and definitely not in my 2023 bingo list, but uh, it was a good surprise. So anyway, um, I thought I'd just kind of take a second to show you kind of some things in my ballet bag that I'm going to be using for this quick little rehearsal I'm going to do at home. Um, obviously my point shoes. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to show you the bottom of them. They're kind of dirty. Uh, but yeah, my point shoes. Um, these are amazing. Uh, these um, like hexagels. This is more of like a generic brand, but uh, I believe Gainer Minden and then a few other brands also make their own version of these. Um, they're really great and also not just for point because I know a lot of my um, viewers on here are beginners um, If you are someone who likes to wear high heels and you tend to get blisters These are amazing for blisters either preventing them or um, helping to soothe them once you have them um, and then I have my um, my point comfort uh, um, what are these called? <laughs> Sorry, my brain's a little tired from practice earlier today and work and everything. But um, anyway, yeah, so my toe pads from uh, Eurotard Dancewear. I love these. These are the um, strongest uh, or I guess maximum level of protection, which I need uh, for sure for my toes. Uh, but everyone's different. And then I have my little tape that I'm going to use to kind of tape around my hexagels to help prevent any um, injuries. 
And then here's just a quick clip from practice of me practicing apart from the marzipan dance. Okay, so I finished up that little practice. Um, I'm trying to do enough where I can really work on getting the choreography down, but also I don't want to do too much where I wear myself out. So if there's like a happy medium to it, at least for me, that's how I like to practice on my own. So I just finished getting ready for class today and I'm a little bit more dolled up than usual. The reason being that we're taking our um, Nutcracker pictures today that will be featured in the program booklet so when the guests come to the show they'll be able to flip through the pages and see uh, the different company dancers and the program. Uh, so I'm really excited and I haven't worn like flowers in my hair in a really long time so I just picked those up the other day from the studio. I have my performance earrings on and lashes and everything done so um, let's go ahead and get to the studio. So hopefully you're enjoying this fun behind the scenes look at, you know, picture day. And then also we got to try on costumes. So here's a quick preview of my costume for snow. Um, I really loved it. It was gorgeous. I went ahead and took home my bodice. Um, so this top part for the snow as well as the skirt. Uh, reason being that the skirt actually needs to be sewn onto the bodice. And I'm going to go ahead and do that myself. Um, I think one thing that people might not realize, I guess, when they go into ballet or start exploring ballet is that um, there's typically a bit of sewing involved. That's just one of the, I guess, more nuanced random things about dancing uh, in a ballet show is that you might have to do some arts and crafts. <laughs> I was told today that we need to calamine lotion our shoes so that they all are the same shade of um, like pink. Let's get to calamining these shoes. Hey everyone, so I just arrived to the theater. I'm super excited to go set up, um, touch up my makeup a little bit, and basically get ready for the show. So today's show is our educational show for local schools, and then we have a day off tomorrow, which, I mean, we have rehearsal, but it's not at the theater. And then after that, on Saturday, we have two shows. So we have a morning show and then an evening show. The evening show is where I have the most parts, so I'm really excited for that because I'll be in the party scene as like a big sister. I'll be in snow as a snowflake, and then after that, I'll be in marzipan, and then in Waltz of the Flowers. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot of dancing for me on that Saturday um, evening show, but I'm definitely looking forward to that one the most because I'll be the most on stage and I have all my friends and family coming to that show as well but I'm really excited to perform for the kids I think it's a great program that the company I um, dance with that they do that we can help promote ballet performances uh, to the general public especially since that aligns really well with my mission here on YouTube so anyway yeah let's go ahead and pack up and get to the dressing rooms Coming up to the theater, they have a bunch of decorations set up, which is really nice to see. Thankfully, I got settled into the dressing room all right, made sure that all of my costumes were in order, and then finally finished sewing my snow costume, and then got to touch up my makeup a little bit. Now, at the school show, I had the least amount of roles, so I was lucky to be able to go backstage and be able to watch a lot of the show with a friend of mine. And I'll put some clips in from that here for you to see. Just leaving the Nutcracker. It was an amazing performance. Thanks. This is a special guest. This is my mom. <laughs> Um, we were kind of lucky in that they let a bunch of friends and family come join the show today. So um, we're about to go get lunch. My mom and I went nearby and had a healthy meal and some really delicious tea. And then before we knew it, it was time to head back for rehearsal. Uh, but we did get to watch the principal dancers do their thing first. And I'll definitely share that with you now so you can enjoy it. It was such a treat.
the night before the Saturday show day since we had the volunteer show yesterday. I just put a fresh coat of Calmine lotion on my point shoes since they got a little bit dirty at practice. I have a sign reminding myself of things that I need to bring with me tomorrow in my bags, hence the shoes up there. <laughs> um, and then I packed everything else in here, including my little Secret Santa present since um, the other dancers and I will be doing a Secret Santa gift exchange between the morning show and the evening show. And then a bunch of other things in here. It's definitely a... Uh, Time for me to go get some rest, so I'm going to go sleep and then wake up and I'll take you all on this journey with me to uh, the theater in the morning. So yeah, let's get to that. So here I am back at the theater and I made sure that I had all my accessories for my costume in my little box. So these are the little decorative sleeves for the Waltz of the Flowers costume as well as the hairpin for Waltz of the Flowers. And then the same thing for Snow, the little sleeves as well as the crown. And then from there, um, got ready to go on stage. Okay, so I just found out that I need a coat. So I picked this coat. I think it'll match the best from what was left there. For this show, I had three different roles. So I'll kind of show you getting ready and then an actual clip from the onstage performance. So let's get into that now. After party scene, it was time to get ready for snow, which is one of my favorite dances. So as you can see, here I am backstage, all ready to go. And here's a clip from the performance. And then it was time for Waltz of the Flowers. Then before I knew it, we only had one show left, which meant that it was time for our Secret Santa for the company dancers. I'm really excited to have gotten these gifts, and I'll definitely wear these pants in future uh, ballet tutorial lessons. And after that, I made sure to lay out all my costumes because this show I had a quick change to do for the marzipan. Um, and I made sure that I had all my accessories and then got back into my outfit for party scene. And then after that, I had a bit of a quick change to snow. And then a very quick change between Mars Pan and also the flowers, but I'll put in a clip of Mars Pan now. And then it was time to perform Waltz of the Flowers one last time. So we just finished Waltz of the Flowers um, in this final show. It went really well. I'm really tired. Right now it's the Sugar Plum and the Cavalier dancing. And then after we'll have the coda. And then that'll be in the end of the Nutcracker season. So I just got back to my car after seeing some friends and family post-show. And, you know, anytime I'm in some sort of ballet, I always get so surprised at how quick everything is over. And I cannot believe that the season is already done. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I typically post videos on here um, about beginner ballet, and I have a full free course that you can check out the playlist above on how to dance ballet from a complete beginner level. You don't need to know anything about dance. You can go ahead and start from lesson one. Um, and for my returning students, I also hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here today, and I hope that you have a lovely holiday season. I'll catch you later. Bye!